hi welcome back to my channel i'm mimi if you're a new subscriber welcome to our soul tribe family and if you are already existing um subscriber thank you for all the love support and thank you for being here for me just like i'm here for you um so today this message that i want to share with my brothers and sisters this message is about breaking the generation curse out your life so you can you know, complete the divine mission that you have here. So as I was praying and I was asking God to give me a word to give to his people, and then God told me to let uh, his people know that he's He's breaking generation curse. He's breaking um, stagnation, patterns, um, strong hold men, like um, gatekeepers. I saw a lot of gatekeepers, like people that's been trying to keep you from your blessing. Like I also see when I was praying in the spirit, I saw a lot of like, you know, like witchcraft, um, people that's been, you know, playing God in your life, that's been sabotaging your destiny. They know that you are a chosen seed or a chosen vessel and all their life they have, you know, been on, on the mission because they work for the dark side to keep you from, it's like keeping you from your own house. It's like God give you a mission, but you got people around you that's keeping you from opening the door, from even look inside. But you know you got a house. So this message is, if you get to hear this message, this message is for you. This message will not be for a lot of people because some people don't have generation curse to break because some people actually have some amazing family and they work together as a unit. They work together as a team. But this message, if you have some dysfunctional family members and your life have never been easy, like if you have testimony like myself, like you had to overcome so much, you had to deal with so much challenge in life. This is what I'm trying to say. God said that I see you have to battle. You went against more than what normal people have to go through. So God is saying that you have break the generation curse. You not like you're, uh, let's say like you have a bad mother that neglect you, never love you. Now you the type of mom that's probably love your kids, that's overprotective, that make sure that, you know, they're good. So you break the curse. So God said this message is for whoever's hearing this message. You break the, you break the curse. So any barrier, any road that was closed for you, God is going to open it now because all the testing that you have to go through, all the life lesson, God had to make sure that he made you pass every life lesson because for this big assignment that you have that is coming upon your life is going to be so huge. Is going to be so huge. There's another video that I'm going to make. It's going to call Identity Crisis. God has been showing me too. He told me to tell his people that. A lot of, you know, God people have identity crisis. They don't know who they are in God. They don't know their authority. They don't know their position. They don't know their status. They just feel like, they, like they're a slave. They are nobody. They don't have no power. They're worthless. So God want all that to be, you know, gone because he don't want his children to feel worthless so but going back to the subject what i'm talking today is that you are breaking big generation curses like curses that have been plaguing your family let's say for example nobody in the family ever got married you're going to be the first one that got married let's say nobody in your family ever was rich Nobody in the family ever was a millionaire or a billionaire or high status. You are going to be it. Let's say um, everybody in the family had mental illness. They had some type of health issue or mental health issue. You are going to be the one that's straight. Like, I see that generation curses are skipping you because you are doing God work. You are the 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 good hearted person or how the world would say you are the black sheep. So God, right now, the chosen one have endured so much pain, so much pain. And it's not even the pain we endure is so much that 
it's not even because in life is supposed to be a balance. We don't even have that balance as a chosen one because we go through more pain, more battles. It's always always been a war for us. We're always fighting forces just to stay alive. It's because the light that we carry is so bright. Darkness is afraid of us. So when you don't know your power, they make you afraid. But when you know who you are, now they afraid. So that's another video I have to teach you guys about um, spiritual authority, knowing who you are so you can use that power and do not having no force running you. Like, let's give you an example. Like, you know how back in the days, how slavery happened, how, you know, someone can go to your home, go to another country and kidnap someone, um, capture someone and, you know, take take that person and then call the person their property or, you know, put that person in slave and you know this person all their life is nothing they're a slave they die a slave so as many of our as i was praying also to i saw that what i saw that is going to be a big i saw a big financial wealth transfer that was happening when i was praying and i was in the spirit i was so excited for you know for um god children you know the most high children because we have a big 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 wealth transfer that's coming right now this wealth transfer is going to be about you know that you are receiving not only you receiving your own um your own inheritance from the most high God, you are receiving your ancestor wealth. Oh my God, what I tell you, I was so excited when I saw that. I was jumping like a little kid. Like I was feeling so happy. Like it's like the Holy Spirit was all over me. God said that double for your trouble. Not only are you going to receive your inheritance from the most high God, your blessing from the most high God, what God have, you know, destined for you. What, what was the, uh, what was the plan for for your life but God said many of your ancestors was raped beaten you know you know people took their land their freedom like it's going to be a reparation like almost like a justice it's like a I see a court case in in heaven like it's a big court case that's in heaven like all the dead people that passed away a long time ago they didn't receive justice for their pain for how they died for their, their mistreatment and you going to be like the ancestor or are you going to be the new person in the family that received the wealth on their behalf? And the reason why God is allowing you to be the one to receive the blessing for them is because, because God knows you have a good heart. So let's say God give you a million dollar, a billion dollar, you will know how to use that money because you're a good hearted person. But if God give that money to a wicked person, let's God, you know, let someone that's in charge of so much of, of a finance that's so big like that. If that person is wicked, they're going to abuse the funding. So God is allowing the chosen one to receive your ancestor wealth. <laughs> when I tell you, I was jumping. I was jumping. I was like, oh, not only God is giving me my money, my birthright, my inheritance. I'm receiving my ancestor inheritance too because money's owed to them. And I am the be beneficiary. I'm the receiver of it. Oh, I was so happy. So God is saying, you are going to break this generation curse. It stopped on you. Whatever bad things that your family been going through, all this generation pain and curses they've been going through, it stopped with you. Like Because you have served the most high God. God is so proud of you. God is so impressed. God, see how you sacrifice, how you, you know, deal with battles after battles after battles, how you overcome everything that was thrown in your way. God said, now, not only are you going to get your, you're going to get your inheritance. Being a child of the most high God, you receive an inheritance. That's, that's another subject that I want to talk to my brothers and sister. You know, you you have to know who you are. So when I did the video, the next video is called "Who You Are." You're going to know who you are, so you can claim what God have already um, say that is for you. What God had already laid for you. What God already left for you. So you are breaking generation curses. You are changing things. Your spirit right now is so powerful. 
your who you are is so powerful in the spiritual realm. You like a spiritual assassinator. You are assassin high princess. You demon witches warlock. You doing it by not even doing muchly nothing, but because your spirit is so pure. Your spirit is like a child. Your spirit is not revengeful. Your spirit is not destructive. Your spirit is not nastiness. Oh, wickedness. So God is fighting for you. God is sending mighty angels. I see a lot of ministering spirit, a lot of war in spirit. God is sending people in the spirit to take control, to fight for you, to give you what's rightfully yours. And not only that, you're going to receive what your grandmother or your mother, you know, whoever had wealth that was taken from them, like, their wealth is coming back to you. I know how when people die, they cannot take anything with them. But this type of wealth that I saw, that was people that was done unjustly. Let's say while they was alive, people took their land, people took their money. Like, you know, people did them wrong and they never received justice. They're going to receive justice through you. And you are going to be the beneficiary and you're going to receive the funding for your great grandmother, your mother, your uncle, whoever in your family. They, they, they have chosen you. God have chosen you. Your ancestor have chosen you to be the beneficiary. So you're going to receive a lot of money and just, oh, just get ready and just know that. The reason why you're receiving the money because you need it. You have a mission to do for God. So you can't be broken through the mission. There's <laughs> a lot of my subscribers that's calling me and, you know, want me to help them financially. I'm praying to God. I'm saying, God, provide the funding so I can help your people. So I have, I have to wait on God to do everything for me so I can help his people. That is my mission. My mission here on this earth is to help God people, to make them be better, wiser, to open their eyes, to give them spiritual truth. I'm not here or trying to be like those, I don't know, like people that are trying to sell spirituality or trying to, you know, use God as a business. I can't play with God. I don't play with God. So this message is for whoever hear this. You have break the generation curse. Everything that was supposed to be your pain, your problem, your setback, your punishment, it have passed you. God said, uh-uh, you don't deserve none of that. What your great-grandmother did or whatever crime or evilness or bad things your ancestors used to do or was part of, God said, nope, it's not going to touch you because you're not those people. You are you. You are different. And if you're going to represent any one of them, it's got to be the good one. So you are the beneficiary. You're going to receive a lot of money on behalf of people in your family that passed away, that things was taken from them, injustice. So you're going to receive justice on behalf of your family. So when the money come, you know, getting your... um mission, your, you know, goal or life purpose. If you don't know your life purpose, your goal, your mission, just hit me up and I will let you know. But this message is that when you receive the funding, do good with it. Help people with it. Do, do not take that money and go spend or just abuse it. Because it's not going to be well for you. But when that money come, enjoy life for you. And make sure everybody else, you could help other people. As long as the, the only thing I saw in the spirit when you receive this money, you have to give it to other people. You have to help other people. That's the only thing you're going to make your, or, you know, your family, whoever wealth that is happy. They see that you're using the money wisely. So... Please do not come and email me. Oh, what does that mean? The Bible did not say that by no ancestor. Let me tell you, what. when God tell me to say something, I say it. And if you disagree with it, that is not my problem because I'm just a messenger. That's all I am. So this message is saying that you are a beneficiary. I saw it in the spirit. It's like 
your family have so much injustice that was done to them and they never got paid for it. They never got justice. So you are the living beneficiary that's going to receive it on their behalf. And you have break ge- the only reason you receive it is because you have break generation curse. You have become a better person, maybe than your the people before you. So now God said you deserve it. You deserve to have this money. Plus more. You're gonna receive your own inheritance from the most high, and also you're gonna receive the inheritance of your ancestor. I hope everyone have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.